Welcome back, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our Android uh, HTML5 project. In the last video we created a basic um, Android project in Eclipse. Now let's actually see how it looks in a virtual device. Uh, I've still got my virtual device running in the background here. I haven't closed it. I recommend you don't close it because you'll have to wait for it to open up again once you're testing. So it's just running. I'll leave it hanging out. In Eclipse, I want to run this application in that virtual device. And later on, we'll talk about using real devices. So what we need to do is, if this is our first time, we go to the Run menu. And then uh, we need to set up some run configurations. We can test one application in many environments, in many devices. So we need to set run configurations. Select run configurations. And because I'm using Eclipse for my own computer and I do my own app development, mine will look a little different, but you should see something like this where on the left side you have Create, Manage, and Run Configurations for Android, Android J Unit Test, C++ App, Java Applet, etc. It's basically asking how do you want to run your current application. Well, I want to run this as an Android application, so double click on Android application. It should give you something that says New Configuration. Mine says New Configuration 3 because I've done this before. But let's change this to be called on the right side here, my amazing app run config. This can be, of course, anything, but as I create more applications, I want to be able to know which application I'm running. So it's got a name. Then we've got a tab that says Android, which project to test. Well, select Browse. There's my amazing app application. That's the one you want to use. So select it and click OK or double click. And now it says we're about to run your amazing app project. Well, where? On a virtual device, on a real device, on a new virtual device. So let's select our target. Click Target tab and the default will say automatically pick compatible device. Uh, I don't I don't like this most of the time because it doesn't really read my mind how I want it. So let's select always prompt to pick device. This way I can select which virtual device to run this application on or which real device. And I'll show you some, uh, some time-saving uh, tips a little later. So at this point apply at the bottom right and then run. You should see some activity happening at the bottom right, launching My Amazing App. You'll get a pop-up screen. You'll, you'll get two in a moment, actually. This one says Android Device Chooser. Select a device with a minimum API level 8, or whatever yours says. And it says choose a running Android device. I, like I said, my Android device is still running. It's waiting. And it shows here. There's a name that I created a couple of videos ago that it's running Android Target uh, 4.42, little green check mark, it's compatible, it's online, it's waiting. Later on when we talk about plugging in your real device, it'll show up in this list as well. That'll be later. So I've selected the currently running virtual device and I will click OK. If you don't have a running device, select launch a new virtual device, let it launch, wait for it, and then you'll be, you'll be good. So I'll click OK. At this point, you will probably get a pop-up that asks you, would you like to monitor the log cat? Would you like, basically, would you like it to be showing you a screen full of error messages that might be popping up? I'm going to select no. I'm going to ask you to select no for the moment. If you click yes, no problem, but you'll get this pop-up that shows you a running stream of content. I selected no. Then you want to go back to your to your AVD, your virtual device uh, window. It doesn't. It might not pop up automatically, so you want to click it, bring it to the forefront, and then you'll see now there's my amazing app. It's running in my virtual device. I've deployed my project onto my virtual device, and we'll do something very similar to this when we have a real device later. 
at the moment our virtual device is a bit boring but there's a name there's the icon there's some text I can click this option I get some settings I can open the menu here all right not too exciting but look at this if you click to go back to your home screen and you go to your app list application list and you swipe over you should find my amazing app there it is on the app list it's installed it's a real app I can tap and hold it like on a real device and I can put it on my home screen for example so now it's part of my home screen I can tap and hold it remove it from my home screen I can tap and hold it put it under the install or get app info etc put it back on home just to get it faster and there's our there's our app so far um, we still got a, we've got a long way to go at this point now but we've started to set ourselves up to developing our app come back on our next video and I'll show you how to change this hello world message into something else so see you then